And we are back to see what else happens on Butterfly Soup. And apparently Butterfly Soup 2 is out now. Like as I'm making this recording, Butterfly Soup 2 is out. We're going to play it eventually after we finish this. But let's continue. Oh yeah, we are being men right now. Right, okay. <clears throat> she clicks the blade back in and sits down. Oh yes, after she threatens someone. Thanks. Anytime. It's your Nuna's job to protect you. Nuna? Oh, that's cute. Did I say it right? Oh, it's Min's turn to bat now. She swings ferociously at the incoming pitch. Die! Min hits the ball towards the mound. The pitcher ducks to avoid getting bean. Min reaches the bag with time to spare. I made it to first. It's Jen's turn to bat. Jen bunted it into the dirt. He's sacrificing himself so I can make it to second. Min dashes for second base. She slides feet first into the bag. Ha <laughs> ha! Suddenly, everyone's laughing at her. Huh? Min, your skirt. He's pointing down at it. Min's skirt has flipped up so everyone can see her underwear. I hate skirts. They're stupid. What? Don't be silly. You look so cute in them. I don't want to look cute. I want to look cool. Well, we already bought them, so you have to wear them. I always say I don't like them, but you keep buying them anyway. I'd rather die than wear one. <laughs> it's embarrassing. How come I have to wear one when Jen doesn't? That'd be crazy. Jen's a boy. Boys don't wear skirts. They can wear what they want. That's not fair. Then I won't wear skirts either then. Also, Mom, I don't like this shirt anymore. What are you talking about? That's your favorite shirt. I changed my mind. Why? It's a perfectly good shirt. I just did, all right? I'm not allowed to not like a shirt. Both of you are being ridiculous. You're wearing the clothes we bought you and that's fine. So spoiled, what kind of kids are you? They're not having it. The car glides up the ramp to the freeway. Jensa is smashing the buttons on his Game Boy Advance like his life depends on it. You've been playing that the entire day. It's my turn. Wait, just five more minutes. You said that 20 minutes ago. I have to beat this level. Mom, Jen won't let me play the Game Boy even though he said he would. Why don't you look outside at all the trees? Why do I have to do that when Jen gets to play Sonic? That's not fair. It's not normal for a girl to like video games that much. Um, she just stereotyped it away and it's not true. None of our friends' daughters play video games. There must be something wrong with your hormones. We should go see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. There's nothing wrong with liking games. Yes, there is. It's not natural for a girl, huh? It's called a game boy, not a game girl. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. That's not funny. This isn't fair. It's just a game, take it easy. Min wrenches the game boy out of Jen's hand. Ooh, before he can stop her, she rolls down the window and chucks it as hard as she can onto the freeway. Mom, look at what Min did. Oh, maybe they deserved it. Well, maybe Jen didn't deserve it. You did what? Did you get the Game Boy back? We turned around and got it. The screen was busted though. Once you turn it on, it show all this rainbow shit. You couldn't use it at all. No. Why are you so angry all the time? Always breaking stuff. Because people are stupid all the time. Me. Just like, calm down. Try not getting angry. I am trying. Try harder. You didn't have to do that. Now neither of you guys can play it. Exactly, now it's fair. Why should he get to be happy when I can't? That's one way to think about it. Jen returns to the table with their happy meals. Thanks. Hayden digs into his box and pulls out a plastic wrapped toy. Oh, look what I got. It's a futuristic Hot Wheels car sporting translucent ice blue windows. Whoa. Jen unwraps his toy too. His is a monster truck. Whoa. That's not bad either. Uh, I guess. I don't really get why these things are popular. Hayden, are you up for trading yours? Depends, what you got? Mint takes her toy out of her Happy Meal. It's a Barbie doll. I don't want this. I'm gonna ask for a replacement. Yeah, cause why do I get to have a Barbie doll? What if I wanna choose? Well, let me talk to Hayden though. Hayden's trying to cheer Jenna up. I just came up with a great joke, wanna hear it? If Sherlock Holmes owned all the houses in the neighborhood, what would the neighborhood be called? A small patient smile forms on Jen's face. Sherlock Holmes. What? How'd you know? 
You've already told me this joke before. No way, I came up with it just now. But you also told it to me last year. You forgot your own joke and came up with it all over again. What? I seriously don't remember though. Jen covers his face when he laughs. But you did, it was exactly the same. It's not even that funny, but you were so proud of it both times. Exhaling, he appears to regain his composure, but it's only a moment before he doubles over again. Why were you so proud? Hey, it's a great joke, okay? Aw. Looking aghast, did I say that right? Aghast? I don't know. Jen pulls a wrap burger out of his Happy Meal. What's wrong? He gave me a cheeseburger instead of chicken nuggets. Then go complain. No, it's okay. I don't want to bother the workers. Sue yourself. <sighs> I will complain. Look at the TV. Imagine a world where love is illegal. The screen shows a man and a woman bumping into each other and making eye contact. Breathtakingly original. The man and woman are passionately making out. Yuck. A forbidden romance like you've never seen before. For some reason, the entire cast is comprised of brown-haired white people. They look similar enough that they could be siblings. What the heck? Did I say that word right? I'm always asking. Okay, let me go to the counter. Um, let's do it. Men approaches the counter. Hey, you! I want a different toy. Sorry, we can't do that. No, I don't mean I'm trying to get a specific one. I want a boy one, but they gave me a girl toy by mistake. But you're such a pretty girl. You don't want Hot Wheels. Yeah, I do. Hand it over or you're getting it. <laughs> you're a funny little girl. Are you serious? I really didn't get it? Wow, they couldn't give me the toy I wanted? After I bought a Happy Meal? Crazy. Poor men. Oh, she cutting her hair. What were you thinking? Why did you ruin your hair like that? That's what you get. And it's not ruined. It's better like this. What's gotten into you? If you continue like this, no man is ever going to marry you. Who cares? If I have to get long hair to get married, I don't want to get married. I don't ever want kids. Her parents furrow their brows in concern. You have to have at least two or three. I don't think I'd make a good parent. I don't want my kids to end up hating me. You won't be happy if you don't have kids. Why are they just lying or projecting or something? You'll get it when you grow up. What's there to get? I'll never want to kiss a guy anyway. They're smelly and have gross skin like dad. Well, nobody's perfect. You have to have realistic expectations. I am being realistic. I don't want someone who's nothing special, me. I'm pretty awesome, so I should get someone who's awesome too. Prince Charming doesn't exist in real life. If you think like that, you'll never find anyone. Then I'll just stay alone. You can't do that. Why do you get to decide what happens to me? True. When your parents, you have to do what we say. No, it's my life, not yours. What's wrong with you? What do we ever deserve to get a horrible child like this? There's something wrong with her brain. She's so disobedient. She's still playing baseball with all those boys. What's wrong with that? Do you see any other girls doing that? Do you want to be some kind of weirdo? Weirdo? Is, is the family serious right now? But Jen gets to, how come I don't get to? Jen is a boy, you're a girl. What part of that don't you understand? Are you brain damaged? That's stupid, it's not fair. Tell him. That's reality, the world's not fair. This isn't some fairy tale. You have to accept it or you're stupid. I won't accept it. I won't ever accept it. So stupid. We really do have to take you to the doctor now. You have mental problems, brain damaged. Oh, <gasps> whoa. I hate you, go to hell. There's a small statue sitting on the living room shelf. Men's dad picks it up and hurls it at her. What? Men. Min dodges. The statue strikes the glass coffee table behind her, shattering the glass into a thousand pieces on the floor. Min was expecting the shards to be sharp and all jagged, but instead they looked like icy slush. You were asking for it. Min's family's terrible. Poor Jun and Min. Jun still has started crying. Stop it. She's sorry. She's sorry. Stop. Shut up. He grabs Jun's arm. Min lunges at her dad and bites down on his wrist. Ugh! He lets go of Jen. <gasps> Min throws a punch, but he catches it with his hand. He's so strong. 
I hate this. I hate this. I'll kill him if it's the last thing I do. Whoa. I had no clue about that part of men's life. I'll kill him. I'll save all of us. I'll wait till he's asleep and wow. You can't. You'll go to jail. I don't have a choice. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I want to be happy too. If dad dies, we won't have enough money to live. Then mom will get a new husband. Maybe this time we'll get a normal one who doesn't go crazy and break everything. Dad only does that when he's mad. You knew he'd lose his temper if you kept saying things like that. You should have just apologized and said you were wrong. But it wasn't wrong. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to say I was wrong when I wasn't. Me. You're so stubborn. Don't you get it? There's no way to win against him. The more you argue, the worse you're making things. You have to learn to pick your battles just like me and mom. Why do I have to be the one who has to be mature? That's not fair. I'm a kid. He's supposed to be the adult. I don't deserve to be treated like that. If he can't control himself, he shouldn't be allowed to have kids. You can think about some other time when he's not about to blow up. Just act like you're sorry. I'd rather die. Look, this is just common sense. Why don't you get it? Just keep your head down and act normal until we're old enough to get out. Screw that. I shouldn't have to worry about any of this in the first place. I'm not letting him treat me that way, like I'm some wimpy sissy. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. I'll walk that line. No, you have to learn. I have to learn? I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one who should learn. We already went over this. You're a coward. You're an idiot. I don't understand you. Good, I don't understand you either. And now we're fighting because our dad is trash. Men sulks on the bleachers as Jen and Hayden's team goes on defense. I hate everyone. How can they stand how unfair everything is? It's so obvious. Now we understand why she's like always mad when something is unfair. Are they just dumb? There's something wrong with the world. Oh, I'm so mad. She takes out a pack of seaweed sheets and aggressively chomps on them as she thinks edgy, rebellious thoughts. I don't need anyone. I'll do everything all by myself. I'll never fall in love. I'll be like a lone wolf. I'll become so happy and successful that everyone who was ever bad to me has to beg on their hands and knees for me to forgive them. That'll show them. They'll regret being so stupid and wrong while I was right. An enemy batter comes up to the plate. Oh my God, holy shit. It's a girl with the eyes the color of desert camouflage. Aww. The boys seated next to men are murmuring and pointing at the batter. Hey, look, it's a girl batting. Yes, our team got lucky. The pretty girl is shaking like a leaf as she settles into her batting stance. She looks terrified. Don't give up. You're cool. Do you hear me? Don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. At the sound of Min's voice, the batter whirls around to face the stands, her eyes searching the crowd. For some reason, she can't seem to discern what direction it came from. Eventually, she gives up and turns back to the diamond. The pitcher winds up and sends a fastball straight down the middle. The batter swings at it with terrifying power. Go, Dia. The ball rockets off the bat and flies over the fence on the far end of the field. Holy shit. Wow. God bless America. A national treasure. The batter hit a walk off. The game is over because she scored. Everyone comes in from the field. Her teammates have come bounding over, giddy from their victory. Aw. They're laughing and chatting amongst themselves. The girl's nervously nodding at them instead of speaking. She's so shy. That's so cute. I wonder what her voice sounds like. Maybe she can't talk like Ariel and the Little Mermaid. Min's heart is pounding so fast. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Min, calm down. Play it cool. Be smooth. Panic flashes in the girl's eyes when Min runs up to her. Hey, um, you're really cool. What's your name? I'm Min. The girl's face lights up when she recognizes Min's voice. It was you earlier. You cheered for me. Of course I did, you were badass. The girl startles. Min said a swear word. I mean, you were awesome. I'm Dia. That's so pretty, it sounds like you. Oh, I have seaweed, do you want some? Dia looks at Min all wide-eyed like she can't believe her luck. Min actually spends a fraction of a second trying to think of a way she can casually give her the seaweed and somehow touch her hand in the process. In the end, she just holds the sheet out normally. Dia's fingertips brush Min's as she takes it. A bizarre tingling feeling impossible to identify prickles across Min's palms. It feels like she's being tickled with soda bubbles. Thanks. You're welcome. 
Min stands there with an idiotic smile on her face as Dia eats it. Do you want to be friends? Aw. And here we are now in ninth grade. Liking each other. Min, help me. Oh, what's wrong? Who hurt you? I'll kill them. I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Check the baseball club chat. Let's see what they're saying. Sakura pets you. Naya, what? Did I say it right? Nya, Nya, did I say it right? Purrs and rolls over. Oh. Are they acting like cats? WTF. Oh, are you good morning? I'm butchering all of this. Join our RP group. Rubs against men. Against men? Kicks you over a fence. <laughs> men is going off on everyone. Sad, yeah. Or sad, whatever she's saying. Dia just keyboard smashed. Krista entered. Hey, Krista. Yo, we should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? Yes. That sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Buffet. Perfect, I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. It's an Indian buffet in the mall. If we're really being frugal, I bet men could pass off as under 12 for the kids' price. Oh, why stop there? Infants eat for free. Damn. Hey. More realistically, men can actually fit in our equipment bag. Like the giant three foot long one. We can straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Won't the waiters find it odd that a tiny Asian kid is suddenly materialized at our table? No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. When no one's looking, we can quickly slip the food inside. What kind of demented fantasy even is this? I'm getting scared for your future children, you weirdo. That sounds kind of fun, actually. I'll do it. What? I'll be like, <laughs> illegal. All right, let's meet up there at noon tomorrow. Be there, be square. Tomorrow, I won't be able to go. Aw, why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm so grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to a tutoring group. Can't you say you're going to a special additional session? Because you're extra dumb and need the help? F you, and that's not gonna work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, listen, I have an idea. What's the idea, girl? Min's mom accompanies her to the library. Noelle's seated inside with her mom. Min gestures at her, wrinkling her nose with disgust. Oh, this is my private tutor or whatever. Yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mom eyes the clearly nerdy girl. Oh, Min would never be friends with. Noelle's mom eyes the clearly stupid girl. Noelle would never be friends with. Oh, show us your latest math test. Min takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There were so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. There's only four choices. Even if you chose every single answer at random, on average, you would have scored higher than this. Yeah? Says who? What? Says probability. Noelle teaches Min the concept of probability. Sounds fake. It's not fake. Do you at least understand it now? I guess. Finally convinced that Noelle's legitimately tutoring men, their moms head home. We fooled them. All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. It's so messed up that we even have to do this just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? A healthy relationship with your parents? What's that? It sucks that due to societal pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well suited for parenting or not. It took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I meant mine are worse. My dad taped the times tables up to 12 to the wall at eye level and made me stand facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go. I was only five, but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours. I still don't know the 11 and 12 ones. Oh yeah? My dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs. Why a toilet seat? My dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me. So he stormed out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and hurled it at me on sight. Wow. That explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can have kids. 
I wish that were viable. Maybe in an ideal world where all vehicle turn signals sync up and blink at the same speed. Why does she care? <laughs> I want the test to ask them to explain their motivation for being a parent. Do you want a kid just to elevate your own status? What if your kids don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by the intersection. Oh, men makes an obscene hand gesture at them. This is America. Oh, why? Do, okay, okay. That's not the correct way to think of it. Exactly. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. Oh, shut up. Pfft. We're here. Dia and Akasha are already waiting by the fountain. Hey, y'all. Dia. Aw. Oh, don't know what they said, but oh, I love you. Ah! This just added five years to my lifespan. Dia has moved so that they're standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contentedly as the cool drab blows over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles to here from my house. Wow. But your house is only one mile away. I know, I just can't read maps. <laughs> you should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically be like a bikini. You think the swimsuit is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Great question. What? It's filled with money people threw in there. It's like a swimming pool, but better. She's right. There's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop, stop. Oh, how much money have you got so far? Min examines the fiscal of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds it out for a car to see. You've got like $1.88. If we find 392 more cents, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Krista is power walking towards them. Shit. In trouble now, y'all. Akarsha and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you? Just last week I went to Safeway with my mom. Krista points at Noelle, who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. Hey, you! What? I didn't do anything. Exactly. You should have stopped them. Are you the responsible one or not? All right, I think they get it. Let's just go to the restaurant now. Get in the bag, Min. Liz places the empty equipment bag on the floor and unzips it. Min climbs in and lies on her side in fetal position. There's actually some spare room. Wait, 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 wait. She's really doing this? You okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shitty. I I'm doing a crime. If I stay undercover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right on me, fight the system. We need to zip this up now so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. I can't believe it. I can't see a thing now that it's zipped shut. Min feels a tug on the top of the bag. Ugh, I didn't think about carrying the bag in. It's like 100 pounds. Dia can lift it, she's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty, you can see it on her face. See, Mom, she's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me Mom? What? I did not. You totally did. I absolutely did not, she did. All right, I'll carry the bag. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They've halted inside the restaurant. How many? Nine, I mean eight. We don't have any large tables left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure, come this way. The bag shifts with Chris's movements as she follows the waiter. These tables are pretty small. If men were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. I'm not that short, you bitch! Shit. Men's life as a fugitive has ended. At least now that you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Men crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with Akasha, Noel, and Dia. We can get our drinks and food now. As Akasha reaches for her empty glass, Noelle grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead and get your food. Thanks? Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. Is that the word? 
I don't have the energy to deal with both of you and men at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something that you have to get her back for. <laughs> Dia pauses, then turns to look at men. The restaurant is noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what men said, but she heard her tone of approval. You like Noel now? Her face is shining with hope. Men is struck with a conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her. The blinding exposure temporarily lowers men's IQ by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. Aw. I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tandoori chicken. You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? I'm probably saying it wrong. Tandoori. Oh. The do isn't like door. It's like do, do, head. <laughs> Are you five years old? You could have just said like do and due date. Tandoori, tandoori. There we go, lesson. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The tandoori the, the tando the tandoo chicken is too salty. Noelle dumps it on Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffs the extra food in her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? Min jitters her legs to the table's rattling like there's a small earthquake. Why? Stop that. Akarsha joins in the same frequency so it resonates. Knowledge is power. Akarsha sips her water. She's down about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Akarsha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame, Noelle is holding a water glass to the toilet. You filled my cup with toilet water? What do you think? Seriously? Akarsha stands. Noelle has a, I don't know how to say that word, happy look on her face, like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man, seriously now, really, are you serious? Come on, man. Now we're even. Ew, ew, Ugh. I can't believe you, you meanie. My stomach hurts now. You're being overdramatic. The bacteria wouldn't affect it that fast. I'm gonna wash my mouth out. Akarsha disappears into the bathroom. Jeez. Worry, Dia goes off after Akarsha, leaving men alone with Noelle at the table. Noelle is in a particularly good mood now. <laughs> um, girl, was it really toilet water? What? <laughs> of course not, that would have been unsanitary. What kind of person do you think I am? What the, th that somehow makes it even worse. You lied to her. I never lie. I purposefully led her to the wrong conclusion. That's all. Um, it pisses me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland goody two-shoes type, but you're actually this sadistic manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Thanks. Sorry I've been a jerk to you. If I'd have given you a chance, we might've gotten along. What? Just kidding, I hate you. Noelle nods with relief. Good, I hate you too. None of this Disney shit, right? <laughs> okay, let me go check on Dia and Akarsha because like, Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the women's restroom. Peering through the open door from the hallway, she can see Akarsha and Dia at the sink. Akarsha cups her hand under the running faucet, gargles the tap water and spits it back out. Oh my God, people pooped in the toilet water <clears throat> and I drink it. Yeah, this would happen to me, classic. What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noelle's braid to a tree. Besides that, that's so minor. And accidentally dropped a worm we were dissecting down her shirt. Besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday you picked her up, replied okay when she demanded you put her down and threw her into a swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled, that's what she said. Besides that, none of these count. Yes, they do. Such a cruel world we live in. Right. Dia clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly just standing there listening though, Akarsha seems to appreciate her presence. It looks like they're doing okay. Min returns to the table. They're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen like usual. What, are you worried? What, no. I was just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. <laughs> the workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Min fetches a glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What's that, iced tea? points at the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself, away from the other beverages? 
Uh, maybe they didn't have room by the soda machine? Now that she looks, though, there's room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. What the hell is this, then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. I can't tell what it is. You try. Noah brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know. It doesn't smell like a tea. Min pours half of it into another glass and slides it over to Noel. I don't want this. It's a symbol of our not being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it'll taste bad? What if it's a condiment or a sauce? It would be like eating mustard. We should just wait for Dee and Akarsha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with matching cups with you. <laughs> it'll look stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Noelle glares down at her glass of orangey yellow liquid. After a long moment, takes a sip of it. Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage. I don't like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist. You're like one of those whips who are afraid of durian. Did I say it right? I don't know. Close-minded. I'm not. Look, I'll finish it. It's probably an acquired taste, like durian, durian. <laughs> Min begins drinking her glass of the liquid too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it. <laughs> Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Hey, you're like a Dia expert, right? More or less. Can I ask for your opinion on something then? Yes. Where would be the best possible place to take Dia on a date? A dog park. I already, I mean, besides the dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. But I don't have the money to, I mean, the budget in this situation is small. In this hypothetical situation, right, in this hypothetical situation, I'm testing your Dia knowledge. She also likes eating. Why don't you take it to a dessert place instead? There's one she wants to try called Snow Castle. They have shaved ice and boba. It's within walking distance from the school. Soon it's often visited during lunch hour. Perfect, thanks. I mean, you pass because I was testing you. Right. Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course. I hate you too. Aw. Akarsha and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Akarsha's eyes widen as she sees men gulp another mouthful of the mystery liquid. Are you guys drinking whatever that is? Dia, look, they're drinking whatever that is. Pawnee, Pawnee, Pawnee. What? What, what is it? You're supposed to use it to fill purry. I'm saying everything wrong. The fried dough ball things. You don't drink it all by itself. Noelle glares at men. I told you it wasn't a beverage, I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drink it all on your own. Do you guys squirt ketchup directly into your mouths too? Shut up, ketchup man. Both Dee and Akarsha are gleefully taking out their phones. Don't take photos. Look what I got. It's a photo of a blurred scowling Noelle trying to shove the shameful cup away from her. <laughs> Send it to me. You're never gonna let us live this down, are you? You guessed it, ketchup man too. Whatever, pea girl. Noelle storms off to the buffet area to escape Akarsha's photos. Akarsha gets up and chases after her. Noelle's making things even worse. There's gonna be action shots of her running around the salad bar now. <laughs> and of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't tripped. As if on cue, Noelle stumbles over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. Wow, be good. We're alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. We should go out and eat sometime. We're already eating right now. I mean, some other time, just the two of us. The next day, Snow Castle. But we're not doing this yet. Let me save. All right, I'm saving the date for a different episode, but if you want to see the date, make sure you give this uh, video a like and share it with your friends. Let them know that Butterfly Soup is coming, so they gotta watch Butterfly Soup 1. I'm so excited. Make sure you check out my merch and my music. It does indeed slap. Merch at, uh, what is it, outfits.art? Yes, yes. So have a great day in the name of the Lord, and may God bless you every step.